So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and show how the device works. It's been several months in the making. This meter shows all the wires are visible here on top of the desk. Well, what it shows is a positive lead on the positive battery, a negative, whoops, a negative lead on the negative. It'll be putting in a little under one volt from this battery, and all the output from the charging coils and the rectifiers will go into this meter. Currently showing zero. We'll be getting an RPM reading on here. And uh, like I said in the last video, this is everything you can buy from Radio Shack at Home Depot, with the exception of the VCR motor I took out of here and put on here. And the top of the rotor assembly is actually have an old CD-ROM I took apart. That's where it came from. And that used the old factory CD-ROM magnet and holding. That's all it was. Here again, Radio Shack relays that are cut apart to make the charging coils. And by just spinning them up by hand, just giving them a spin, there's a, there's a little under a volt right there, just giving it a spin, a volt and a half. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and spin it up with a battery, break the, break the flux, it takes off, running from a battery, putting in 1.03 volts and getting out 1.28 volts. I can't call this over unity because it's not the 400% that I guess I'm supposed to get. But the fact that I'm getting out more power than what I'm putting in should keep this self going indefinitely. So I'm getting ready to switch over to a watch battery, which I'm going to use as a small capacitor. So it should feed the power into the battery and take it back out as it needs to. That's what I'm kind of thinking. If not, then I can simply have, if that does not work, then I can simply put a charging battery and a run battery and have a switch, autom a digital switch automatically switch from one to the other, back and forth constantly. So it's running from one and charging the other. Here again, uh, running from one battery, here's the leads on that. Just, just around one volt, and we're getting out 1.26. Let's see, our RPM is 400, 402 RPM. So that's what I'm getting out. At 402 RPMs, we're getting 1.26 volts out. We're putting in 1.01 .01 volts in.